Good morning and welcome to the Daily Word. Psalm 52 8 says, But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the steadfast love of God forever and ever. You know, even being a Christian for a lot of years, I haven't always trusted in that steadfast love of my Father. There was actually a lot of years that I could say it. It was knowledge in my head, but it hadn't sunk down into my heart. It wasn't the truth that I lived my life in. And then God came in. In circumstances that had me reeling, God came in and he showed me what was the real issue in my heart. This lie that I had bought into, that his love was not for me, that his love wasn't steadfast and it wasn't unconditional. And I had to choose to then turn away from the lie and believe the truth about who he was. And it was a process in my life. It still is a process in my life. I still struggle at times to remember and believe and speak out in faith that my Father's love for me is unconditional. It's not based on my performance, what I do and what I don't do. One of the things that really helped me to walk in freedom was this one specific time actually that I was really struggling. Um, I was, I stay home with my five kids and it's fun, but it's really hard. And I struggle, if I'm being really honest, with being patient, with not losing it sometimes. And I had just done that. I had just lost it in an interaction with my kids. And I had just yelled. And I was so frustrated with myself. And I felt so much guilt. And I felt this disapproval. Yeah, I had sinned. And yes, it was wrong. But there was this cloud of disapproval that was hanging over me. And I I had learned what to do in those moments to take those thoughts that I wasn't good enough. God didn't love me in that moment. He wasn't pleased with me. And I knew to take those to him, and so I did. In that moment, I said, Lord, this is what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm feeling. I looked at myself in the mirror, and I said to the Lord, I don't think I'm ever going to get it. I know you want me to. I know this isn't right, but I just don't think that I'm ever going to get this lesson. And I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit say this to me in my bathroom as I stared at myself in the mirror. Ah, but don't I love you? And something just penetrated my heart in that moment that regardless of whether I get it perfectly or not, regardless of my performance, doesn't he love me? And that's the foundation that I stand on. It's why I can grow. I grow and I am cultivated. My relationship with the Lord is cultivated out of his steadfast love for me. And that doesn't make me want to just go, okay, well, he loves me so I can just sin. No, it makes me go, whoa, thank you that even when I'm a mess, you are crazy about me. Your love doesn't change. And then out of his love for me, I respond and love him. And guess what? I respond and love my kids as well. I, I recognize that his grace is sufficient for me. And then I am able to offer that grace to my kids, to my husband, to the people in my life. His love for us is our foundation, our firm foundation, and that is how we grow in Him as we say, yes, you love me. No matter what I do, you love me, and I'm convinced, and I'll speak it into the atmosphere when I don't believe, and when my circumstances say maybe not, I will trust in your unfailing love.